everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome to a new video on my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to customize your Alex drawer unit. So I was scrolling through Instagram one day on my personal Instagram, actually, and I will link it here. It's always in the description box below as well if you wanna follow like more of a personal side of my life. But I was scrolling through and I, was, I came across this particular post and it was from Planner Channel that I follow. And she had posted a picture of her Alex drawer units customized. And I was like, okay, hold the phone. What is this? How did she do that? I linked my wonderful walls. I went and checked out their Instagram and they totally customize these really fun like vinyl wraps that you can put on your Alex drawer units. So I contacted them because I was curious if they do custom orders. I was curious if they could come up with something that would fit kind of my aesthetics for my nail studio. And they absolutely were like, hey, yes, we love doing custom orders. What do you have in mind? I was originally thinking of doing like a floral wallpaper because that's what I have in my nail studio. And I was thinking of doing something that would match that. But then I was thinking it would be way too much floral. So I decided to go with marble because if you guys have watched any of my organization or studio decor videos, I have a ton of marble aesthetics in my nail studio as well. And I thought it would be a nice neutral pattern that I could take no matter what I decide to do with my nail studio if I try, decided to mix it up down the road, whichever. So they customized marble for all of my Alex drawer units. I have four of the large, wide, six drawer units over here. And I have one of the nine units on the side over here. I also have one at my filming desk one of the five units, and then at my nail desk, I also have two of the five units as well. So there's a lot that we're gonna cover in marble in this video. My wonderful walls can put anything that you want on them as well. So you'll see that the ones that I ordered have my labels put on them ready to go. So you can have stuff put on them, your labels like this, so you can have it organized by your specific drawer. Now down the road, if I need to change these again, I can easily just order um, one replacement one down the road as well. I did wanna to touch on how they come packaged as well because I was really impressed with how they came to me too. Like this. this is just an extra one to um, replace one of the headers because I had messed up on one of the headers that I needed. <laughs> uh, so this is just an extra one, but it comes like this and it came in like a package that was big enough to fit this whole entire thing. When I had originally placed this order, I was kind of curious how this was going to come to me because I'm like, I don't, I don't want it to get wrecked, obviously. You want your unit to be all nice when it comes in. And so I was super impressed that they came in these little tubes. Uh, super easy to remove, super easy to get started right out of the packaging. The majority of people seem to have these Alex units in their nail studios because they work so well. A lot of people have them as table legs for their nail desks. They are super, super functional. The nicest thing about these Alex units is the drawers are super, super narrow to hold all of that nail art stuff that we like to have in our nail studio. The only downside is I believe they only come in two colors. They come in white and they come in black. So other than that, I, have, I haven't seen any way to kind of personalize them besides putting vinyl decals on to label them like I have. So when I came across this company, My Wonderful Walls, I was pumped. I was like, okay, I need to customize these and make them a little bit more Taliaified is what I was kind of thinking. So lastly, My Wonderful Walls has offered you guys a discount code. If you use the code Talia, you'll save 15% off of your order, which is awesome. Um, it's shipped to me super, super quick, and I believe they're based in the States. I'll have to check where they ship to though, and I'll leave that in the description box below if they ship all over. Um, but it's nice of them to offer you guys a discount code as well. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is remove all of these old labels here. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an overview of what they look like before. So all I have on here is some vinyl decals that uh, have text with whatever's in the contents of it and that's all I've done to customize them just so I know what's in the drawers ahead of time. So first thing we're gonna do is remove all of these. I'm just taking one of these flat scrapers. I believe I just got this from Canadian Tire and despite that there, they actually were super, super easy to come off. This was the part I was dreading the most because I wasn't too sure how hard it was gonna be to take these off, if they were gonna stick really well or leave anything behind. They didn't, uh, so that was really nice. Um, book linked in the description box below but I used this when I was setting up my nail studio I'll link that video in the description box below as well uh, for when I was deciding what was gonna go in all of these drawers I'm using the exact same thing I just went in and erased everything same thing with my desk I've got a picture of my desk here how I want that organized I also have a new one that I set up here which is for my filming desk and 
I have it all set up with how I want it labeled as well. So that's what we're gonna do when we're putting the labels on is we're referring back to this book. So if you see it, that's- These are what the instructions look like that came with my package. I just think these are so fun. I had to share them with you guys. But as you can see, it's super easy to set these up. Uh, so let's get started. Let's get putting the labels on. First step is to just clean off all the fronts of your Alex Dora units, which is what I'm doing here. Um, I did use a little bit of a Lysol wipe initially, and now I'm gonna go in with just some soap and water and get everything off. I'm not sure if I can stress just how easy this was to do. Uh, there's gonna be moments where I make this look a little dif more difficult than it actually was. Uh, but th the sheets of vinyl just come really easy off of the paper that they come with, and then you just place them on. The hardest part I found was lining it up with your Alex drawer unit, and at the very end of all of this, you're gonna see a really good trick that Ivory came and taught me because she ended up having to help me with a couple extra ones that I had to replace, and you guys are gonna see that all come together. Um, the only thing that I was finding with the particular nine drawer, or not nine drawer, six drawer units here, is that they didn't fit it perfectly. There was a little bit of an overhang underneath. So initially I just decided to kind of tuck that in, um, but you guys are gonna see me slice that off down the road because it actually wasn't staying underneath. So I did wanna make sure to get rid of it. What I wanted to show you guys in this clip here is that the marble slab that we decided to come up with is actually supposed to look like one whole giant unit of marble slab when it's all said and done. So the designers at my wonderful wall did a fabulous job with lining up all of my little marble veining to make it look like one big marble slab. I absolutely love how it came together. I also like when I was working with them that um, the product names that I needed, they were able to just take what my entire setup looked like and put the labels on exactly where I needed them to be. So when I was putting these on in this part of the video here, I found it easiest to line up where the Alex Dora unit kind of has the handle and then kind of push the decal down. And for me personally, I found that worked really well. Now, if there was any sort of kinks or anything in the unit, I found just using a card kind of got those kinks out for the most part. They were super easy to kind of work out. The six drawer labels that I'm working on here were the only ones that I found that had much of an overhang. When I was working on the nine drawer units, as well as the five drawer units, there was hardly any little overhang, but I do end up cutting that off. Like I had mentioned, you guys are gonna see it very shortly here. It did stick down okay, but I, f I felt like down the road, if I was like opening and closing the drawers so much that it would just get in the way. So I did decide to eventually cut it off. First unit done and it turned out so good. I love how it came together and we're gonna move on to the next unit here. I have this Fiskars tool for my planning needs. If any of you follow my second channel, then you know all about my planner obsession. And I use this blade all the time in my planner for cutting stickers. And I thought it would work really well for cutting the bottoms of um, the overhang off. Just because it is a flat surface, it worked super, super well for me just to rest the blade on top and just slice straight across. There very well might be a better way to do this. I'm not sure. This is just totally what worked for me in the moment of doing this. Applying these decals was super easy, but because I had so many of them, it was very time consuming. So I did solicit my husband's help with this just to make it go a little bit quicker uh, for the sake of getting back to our babies, <laughs> as well as uh, so that I could film this a little bit easier for you guys too. It's definitely a project that I feel like very many people out there can do on their own. They don't need help with it, but I'm so grateful that he was able to step in and help me with this as well.
On the nine drawer units, this is where I found that there was a tiny, tiny little bit of overhang on the right hand side when I was applying this, uh, but not as much as on the six drawer units. And again, I could just easily cut it off. But in all honesty, I didn't have to do this on all of them. It was just a few of them that I had to do it to. You can see that when my husband's working on the desk drawer here, there's not much of an overhang at all. Now, this video was filmed uh, just about two months ago now. And I want to talk to you guys about how these decals are holding up on my desk because that is the drawers that get used the most. Um, they're holding up so well. I was a little bit worried about maybe the ink kind of running if my hands were like dirty or anything like that, if they had like liquids on them from um, when I'm working on my clients. I was worried about if I had like any dirt or anything on my hands that it was gonna transfer. I haven't had any problems with that. And if there is a little bit of dirt or anything on my hands and the, the drawers do get dirty, it's just a simple clean to wipe them off. Um, I also wanted to say that where I'm from in Canada, I call them decals, not decals. <laughs> I know I'm probably gonna get commented about that because it happens every single time I post a video and I mention the word decals and I don't say it as decals. And this is the finished product, you guys. I love how this came together. I love it so, so much. I don't know if I can express to you guys. Every single time I walk in my nail studio and I see my custom Alex drawer units now, I just love how they turned out. Um, what I really like about them is that you could do basically whatever you wanted to match your aesthetic of your own nail studio. The only problem that I had was what you saw there on that CNS drawer and that was completely my fault. Um, I just didn't line it up as properly as I should have and I had a hard time kind of working the kink out and that was again 100% my fault because all of the other drawers worked well. I think I just had it kind of sticking together and it didn't work very well but we did do the units that are at my nail desk as well here and I really enjoy how this came together as, as well. Now, one thing I didn't notice was on the right hand side of the drawers here, the brushes and implements and tools drawer. Um, I actually initially didn't even notice there wasn't marble on them. Um, so we do end up replacing those at the end and that's where Ivory is gonna show you how to do these a little bit easier than what I had done. When I had contacted my wonderful walls about it, cause I wasn't too sure if it was an error or if it was just like supposed to look like that, they sent me replacement ones immediately like they were just truly such an amazing company to work with you guys if you have any questions or concerns about the units that you get on your own they're happy to answer any sort of questions that you guys have and ivory came in for a recent project day she showed me a much easier way to put these decals on so we're just removing those decals that i told you guys uh didn't have the marble on them they had a little bit of marbling but not as much as i thought they needed to have so now what ivory did is she cut these all up so it was just like a little strip that you were working with then she pulled the decal off of the backing lined it up to the drawer unit and then just kind of pulled it all the way across and it worked a million times easier so if i I could go back and do this again that is what I would suggest to you guys because it would line up a lot easier and work a lot better probably go a little bit quicker too if you guys watched the video where ivory came over and helped me reorganize all of my gels we basically reorganized all of my nail art that is in these drawers and some of the labels that I had made I thought were gonna be how things were gonna be organized and some of them need to change so I'm able to order just individual drawer labels from my wonderful walls to replace the ones that I need to which is great um, I love the idea that you can still kind of customize down the road especially if you're looking at actually putting font text on your drawers uh, not to worry if things change in your studio like they do in mine all the time um, you are able to order individual drawer units down the road as well to replace those so I did want to touch on that so thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video I hope that it helped those of you out there who are looking to customize your Alex drawer units to personalize them for whatever space they're going into make sure you're following me on all of my social media and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.